I became a Shaolin monk when I was ten. My master taught me kung fu every morning and evening. I knew there's complicated precipium even for the simplest movement. Songshan is the center mountain of the five great mountains of China, and it is located in the southwest of Zhengzhou. It was referred to as the center of the world by ancient Chinese, and considered a sacred place for the study of religion, ancient astronomy, historical architectures, and martial arts, such as Shaolin Temple, Songyang Academy. Zhongyue Temple also makes Songshan home to numerous cultural heritage sites. The name of Shaolin refers to the forests of Shaoshi Mountain. With its 1,500 years history and home to the Zen Buddhism, Shaolin Temple is known as the world's most famous temple. More and more foreigners are seen learning Kung Fu here. We are tremendously proud of it. To have this part of our culture recognized by the international community. Hello, I'm Ben. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet Isabel, you. nice meeting you. And I'm your guide today. Zhengzhou is the origin of China, and the earliest Chinese history can be founded in this area. The buildings and the daily necessities can demonstrate the lifestyle of our ancestors. This exhibition will present you the village under the stars at this relic. The Hezun site is a large-scale Asian settlement site containing Yang Shao culture, Longshan culture, and the culture of Xia and Shang dynasties. As you can see there, the archaeological excavation indicate that our ancestors have lived here for over 3,300 years. Zhengzhou is the oldest commercial city in China. Ever since the first emperor of the Shang dynasty built capital here. Splendid Shang culture along the Yellow River Basin started to incubate. So Zhengzhou actually has been a major city for many dynasties, and is regarded one of the eight Asian capitals in China. The middle and lower reaches boundary of the Yellow River locates in Zhengzhou. The Yellow River is China's main north to south and east to west artery, and is called the Mother River. With wit, diligence, and tenacity, Chinese descendants pursue coexistence and common prosperity on this land. It is the cradle of Chinese civilization. Yellow Emperor, the ancestor of Chinese, was also born in Zhengzhou. Every year, Chinese people all around the world gather here to attend the ancestral worshiping ceremony to celebrate the Yellow Emperor's birthday. This particular ceremony can be traced back to 2,700 years ago. <coughs> Zhengzhou perfectly combines the new and old cultures. Guided by aviation, it is building three silk pros on land, air, and via network to connect and radiate the domestic and international market. In recent years, under the construction of being a national central city, Zhengzhou has become the only crossroads of domestic high-speed railways. With the construction of railways, the national star-shaped high-speed railway network was initially formed, in which Zhengzhou was at a central position. 
Therefore, it has formed a two-hour railway traffic circle centered in Zhengzhou, with a radius of 700 kilometers, covering about 720 millions of China's population. At the same time, Zhengzhou is making every effort to build a hub city in order to radiate the country, connect the world, and serve the globe. Opening up a cross-border trade corridor that enables people to buy and sell the products around the world. Here in Zhengzhou, you can always discover something new. The soul of China. Zhengzhou.